All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between our visitors and our home team. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Uh, secondary? You know me. You know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? This one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line oh, just across Randy, the 25. Let's so let's out comes go. this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out there, their 6-5 quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we we'll see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious yeah. that that'll help them win. Gator. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Let go. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. That's complete to White. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Let's go now. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on first and 10. Watch one. Watch one. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. Speed grip. Speed grip. On play action, they'll throw. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there's no way he was getting away on that one. Situation they'll base. certainly want to avoid Check going forward. Push it back. Second and long Push it back. Back. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. No. Oh, he lost the football. Boom! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. It's unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second watch down. Left, watch left, watch left, watch left. Stop it, stop it there. Even, even. Four games. Looking to throw. Looks for one, right, but it's intercepted. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. Set to come back out on the field. Yeah. 
Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that. A second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. I can't imagine we'd see another throw here. Third and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And I don't think he got there. No, they stuck him right where it all started. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four-down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Needing the touch yards and right in the field goal. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And I guess that's where you turn on fourth and goal to your muscle back there. Hand him the football, he does the dirty work. I think you're asking a lot of your defense there, right? Having to make the stand, have to prepare for just about any type of play to be called. And then here comes the power right at you. On that play, the big man got into the end zone. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to Come the on, knee fellas. and they'll start at the 25. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 to score as they start first and 10. Continue with second and 13 Three, after the first down Watch run goes backwards. Watch twist. And look at this for the second straight play. The 49er defense drops him for a loss. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. 
Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing in the line of scrimmage. just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. First and ten. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Sponge! Sponge! Sponge. No, no, no. They go. They'll run it now. Now they go. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. That's right, baby. They don't want it. before being taken down at midfield. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run Six. through. Didn't happen Five, on that play. Here we go, D. Here I go. go. They'll run it now. How they go? And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folding like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be third and ten now. That's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. Nice pick, nice pick. guys will take over at the 30-yard line. 
Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dive set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. Drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Let's go. So first and 10 Pittsburgh. now from the 30. Hey, check, check. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Get it. Check 26, check 26. Going to give this time to the tailback. And the second wave of tackles is going to get him as they stop him behind it, the baby. line. That's it. That's going to go it. as a loss Big of a hit. yard, and it will be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Back Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that is the third set this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Yeah, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. from deep in the bag York. of tricks here after Run first and second Run down went backwards it's got the Now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline. And now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Rifle it in there every now and then. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here we go, G. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. What the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Going to making a big play. 
This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll run it now. How to go? The reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. I got 87, I got 87. Now back to throw. He's going to want to go deep for the end zone. End zone Touchdown, Seattle. 24-yard touchdown. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. And sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him Ready, off set. the ground now Five, going one. forward. Double time, double time. Hey, four down, four down. Ready? Ready? Quick throw here, that's complete. Go, go, cheetah, cheetah. Little game there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and ten. Let go. Now, running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line 
the scrimmage. Yo, trip is here. It's a loss of two, now third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Ready, ready. This offense on third 70, down today, 80. 0 for 3 to this point. They can use a conversion. Stop this is third down. Be grip, be grip. And on now is the punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. And it wasn't too far from breaking that. Come Officially given 15. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And it's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start Let's thinking about, defense. hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. A little bit of daylight on that first down run. Sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. It's on the linebacker. Made the Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And again, this time to the tailback. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. They'll drop the throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a nice special team shot here. This is going to be down inside go. the 10 at the 7-yard line. Here we go. And someone's going to be happy with that effort. And you know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> he created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there. Checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. So here are our visitors to take over on offense. And they're in a bind early here. Down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive 
But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you and you just get it in his hands. And it's still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got Ready to be break. priority one. one, next number one. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Here we go. Oh, go. Oh, go. Where's the mic? Watch one. Watch one. Coming to you. Coming to you. Hit it. On second down now. Run, run, run. It's Bailey. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Woo. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition no. does set in for a defense because you're excited about him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. It's only shorter gains to turn into bigger runs later. Offensively, they need to open things up, take some shots downfield. Didn't work there, but they did. Yeah, I'm not going to change my tune now. I still think it's the right play because when you take those shots downfield, you open the eyes of the defense to what you could do to them, and that may open some things up for you offensively. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 43. So possession goes over here Let's go, on the punt. Let's go. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. The Seattle offense now is set to come back out on the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Let's put them on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. Let it go. No, no, no. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll yeah, stop baby. him behind yeah. the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll run it now. How's it going? So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't Go forget down. about it. No, don't take Gator. him totally out of the game. Check Good starting Check field position for him as they come up first and 10 Let's at their own 46. They look to throw here. It's caught. This is White. Yeah, he's going to be out Let's of bounds, go, but not Let's before go. he takes it inside the 40. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Yeah, he did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. You're not ready. They run the counter. Bailey. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Get that quarterback, D-line. D-line, get that. Get They'll try to left side. It's Barrett. And he'll get three out of the 34-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert go, for the draws go. and other hey, plays of that nature. Watch and make sure you don't get Watch one. Watch one. Go. Yeah. This will be their first trip to the red zone. First and 10 right at the 20. Shoot! They're going to look to throw. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Let's go, but... A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. This is first and goal and a golden Six. chance to get a score three, back three, in before halftime. Ready, ready? Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Second and six. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Ready, ready. Six plays got him down here. Check this is play seven. number seven. I'm going back to you. Goal. I'm going back to you. Keep Keep They'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. From six yards away. As they are now on the board here in the first half. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point attempt here still to come. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive goes eight plays.
this game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This will be taken in at the one. Now a hit and a loose football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Go the other way. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. This is wrong. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. Try here for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. I think he's still shaking his head a little. It was his fumble on the previous drive that led to the touchdown that has his time. And sometimes it's worse on a runner who drops it like that to watch the other team take the ball downfield and score than maybe if they just returned it right away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes what happens that fast, you're right back out on the field. Instead, he had to watch it happen. Let's see if it affects him going forward the rest of the game. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions just coming them together. Could get in the field goal range. And now look at him go. Touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they take the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 21-14. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper. Into the end zone for the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield, as he gears up to go again. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up, 
Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look Eight, it up. Three. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Come now on, the baby. offense going to use go. the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This quarterback now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Now another timeout called oh, for by the offense right there. as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first Lord. half. Second and Four, five six, after the five-yard completion on first down. Five. Second and five. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They come up now Indian. third and five for the incomplete Tack. pass. Let's go. They'll set up to throw. Looking for his running back, he's got it. And a loss of three to bring up four. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? that would go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the ball backed same, way same. up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This will be taken in at the run. They will take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards after the 27-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. They'll 
start the third quarter here on the ground. And that didn't fool anybody. Yeah. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Oh, no, no. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. He takes this for three to the 29. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Silver, silver. They look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he slips it the 35 before being tampered. They get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want the throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't run it. They'll run it now. We'll give only a couple down to the 44. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Go, go. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A first and ten at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The last run got six, now second and four. Pick me up. Here we go. has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Two times, two times. We got three, we got three. They'll run it now, out of the And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there.
On fourth down, John Gruden says, let's try and get three out of this. This one from 48 yards away. And his kick is good. And that will push the lead off the double digits now at 10. So put another three on the board, all things considered. A good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their work. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage now, from the trainer right now saw. from all the work he's getting. Watch the mic. Watch what? Watch what? You remember me? You remember me? And I... Slam, on slam, first slam. Slam. It's Barry, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Get it! They'll keep it on the ground. Barry, a couple be brought down about the 28. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Go These guys have punted four ball. times already, and they're staring switch at the fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now. receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, don't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And they'll send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a Browns leg as he gets this one away. 51 yards on the punt there. Let's and go, the offense let's go, let's will take go. over with a new set of downs. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Let's go now. Six, seven, eight, eight, 36. Right here, right here. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. It's our time. Hey, hey, check 24. Check 24. Second and one. see the play develop in front of you. When the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner in a 
in front of the safety. It makes it tough to defend. Back to back, good plays have them on the move on first down. In your face. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They'll get about four here, down to the 43 yard line. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Now a handoff here goes running back. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Here we go, here we go. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Set up. 18, Gator. Cut, cut, cut. Shift. Watch the shift. Shoot. They'll run on first down. It's Bannon. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments you know, or run a few different play. plays, but stay Watch with the, the overall Watch essence Watch of the running one. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, ready! They'll keep it on the ground. Bailey. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth. So they bring out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. 49-yard punt. Let's go, boys, bring it up. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking hey, angles sit, and hey, gaps sit, and maybe stopping him before he gets going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. Shut up. Well, throwing here on first down. And a for him, and this will be caught. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Back to throw now, first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 49, right to the 45. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick hey, outs, things down, that they consider down. safe. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Yes, Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. Kill. Run it. spaces on a field and those eyes carry your legs to those spots and that's what happened on that play he saw a spot an opening and went and got it well he really hasn't ran the ball all game fourth quarter here need a big play able to pick it up so whatever the eyes saw and created it worked yeah that's what that's what i do they'll run it now out of the gun so he got three and one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run it now, out of the And they'll get him down right around the 16. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The Niners on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. Here it's third and three. The kicker here is complete. And he's got this inside the ten to the nine before he's out of the bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it first and goal. To come by here, he gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. 
You better be ready. Let's go. Let's go. Seven and goal. They'll give it to him again. Go, go. Run, seven run, big run. yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also let, counting let on his intelligence in playing the game check, as well. Check, if it's check, not check, there, check. don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Let's go. And he will take this one in for the Seattle shot. touchdown. Yeah, it's good that job. Quarterback. That's the way you make it be. That's the way you make it be, baby. Was able to stretch their lead. And maybe there that was just a case of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it didn't it? because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last. Running back, fullback, heck, jet sweeps nowadays. Before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. A three score game now. The lead moves to 17. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 on, at the 24-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And right now these guys are shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Come on, set. AT Gator. A good start to the day. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard okay, line. Okay. And what a big time play there. 48 yards. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. On the ball! So now then, the on big the play has them all the way up, 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 inside up. the 30 now, yeah. first and 10. Looking to throw. That is man complete over the middle. It's Flowers. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, 22. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First and Jack goal, Rabbit. and they got to Go. be thinking a chance to get right back into this football you. game. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the Get speed and the quickness of that defensive line ball. is eating them alive. So first down went the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Second and 13. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. 
Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in Ready. sync. The front putting on the pressure. The what back side being ball hawks and picking passes off. Let's go. Third down. Levy. able to shove the tackle, but the results come in for the stop. space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Let's go. Yeah, field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go okay. for it Just on like four. Just like that. Just like that. Got a try. but cannot push forward into the end zone. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up go. opportunities Zero for big eight. plays. Five, Looks like 36. a run, turn into a play Let's action, go, and throw big it deep. Right here. So we got to step it up. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. Oh, after a break down the middle. And the lead is now 24. 